Now, you reckon I'm a numbers nerd. Our next guest is known around the world as a human calculator. Scott Flansberg's ability with numbers is almost superhuman. He holds a Guinness World Record and can think faster than a calculator. Multiplication. Please give me two two-digit numbers and we'll multiply them together. 95. Times? 85. 8,075. Oh. <laughs> wow, Scott has won a legion of celebrity fans, including Oprah and Ellen, and now he's brought his phenomenal brain down under, inspiring kids for the Australian Maths Challenge. Mm. And he's here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Thanks for having me on Channel 7. I tell the kids when I go to schools that 7 is a fascinating number because when you spell it in English, it's spelled S-E-V-E-N. If you take off the first letter, S, you're left with the word even. But 7 is an odd number. So I keep asking, who put the word even in an odd number? But I can't <laughs> find the answer. So I suggest we rename 7 SOD, S-O-D-D, -D, but it's not going over too no. much. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stick with seven and yeah, just yeah. manage the oddities of it. So your world record is for adding the same number to itself 37 times in 15 seconds. Yeah, I, can, I get going so fast that my mouth actually slows me down. My brain is just flying. Wow. Well, we want to put you to the test because I know that you know we're going to do this. All right. We're going to put you to the clock and give you a random number and we want you to add it to itself 37 times. I'll go as fast as I can. I'll okay. be right around there. The number is 31. Ready to go? 62, 93, 124, 155, 186, 217, 248, 279, 310, 341, 372, 403, 443, 454, 465, 496, 527, 558, 589, 620, 651, 682, 713, 744, 775, 806, 837, 889, 930, 961, 992, 103, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, Absolutely correct. We're turning the TVs around so you can't see this. Yeah, yeah. What's 347 divided by 13? By 13? Yep. Uh, well, I know it's 26 point, and then there's uh, 8 thirteenths or so, so 0. 0.67, something like that, yeah. Perfect. 6, 9, 2, 3, 8, yeah. 7. Excellent. Far out. Okay. I struggle to add up. All right, what is 456 plus 122 plus 926? Uh, 1504. <laughs> where, where does this all come from? Did you train yourself or is it natural? I think it's natural. Uh, I, it was an accident in year four. I was nine years old and I got picked to go up to the board to do some addition and I did it backwards and I actually did it faster than my teacher and just after that I said okay I'll learn what the teacher wants me to but then I'm going to see if there's an easier way to get the answer and all these patterns started coming to me and it's just been a fascination of mine for years mm. but now I've discovered the secret to numbers and I'd love to share it with you guys because mm. I, I heard it coming in that some people in the studio are afraid of numbers or just avoid don't like yeah, math yeah. all right so and it's an easy thing but the calculator you guys use to check it there's 10 buttons but there's no 10 and we all think 1 through 10 but it's really 0 through 9 so we have 10 fingers 10 digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 I know it seems crazy but it works but what it does is it turns on the calculator in your brain it makes 9 mm -hmm. the biggest number so now everybody watching the show think of your age all right now add the two digits together in your age now take that total and subtract it from your age all right, and think about your answer. Add it together, you should get nine. And that works for every number to infinity. It does. Wow, it and does. this is a simple exercise that I've created that will allow kids to train their brains to feel like a mathlete, to help them with build their foundation of basic okay. number sense. And now we could teach them higher math. But right now, kids so, are memorizing their maths. It's not good. on a beautiful mind. Oh, oh, thank you. Great. I really enjoyed that show. Now, you're also the human calendar. You know what day it was, any date in history. Yeah. Our Prime Minister was sworn in on the 24th of June, 2010. What Friday. Day was uh, it? Let, me, let me make sure. Thursday. It was a Thursday. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. correct. That was easy. How do you know that? How do you mean it's easy? Uh, I was sitting on a park bench in West Palm Beach, Florida on 8-8-88, August 8th, 1988, and I went into the library and I found a little book that was like this big and it was 100 years old, and the guy said there's a pattern in the calendar. And I wrote down his algorithm and I tried it out and I caught a plane to Phoenix that day 
And by the time I landed in Phoenix, I had wired it into my brain wow. to be able to figure it out. And when we go to schools, Mathletics has me visit schools all around the world to inspire kids to be mathletes. Good on At you. the end of the show, they all write down their name and their birthday, and I get to figure out what day it was they were born on and autograph it. And it just connects me with the kids personally. It's not just some random calculation. Yeah, so it really makes it fun for them. Good on you it's for doing nice. it. Jay, go to the casino a bit. Yeah, oh, what casino? No, <laughs> no, no. no. The, you know, gambling is bad, kids. Don't yeah, do it. It's right. a horrible thing. Okay. It's, it's, the, it's, that, it's that's where he makes his pocket money. Thank yeah, you. Good to see you. Thanks, guys. We're yeah, looking for the best thing. mathletes in Australia today. The Commonwealth Bank's Australian Maths Challenge. Yes. So Excellent. schools across the country cheering them on. Hope we find some great mathletes down here. Brilliant. Ma Maths rocks. Thank you.